Hey guys, welcome back to all new episode of Makerspace. This week we're going to be doing an unboxing, a quick unboxing on the upgrade for the Ultimaker Original. This is the heated bed upgrade as you can see on the box. Um, uh, there's, not a, there's not that many components, I'm going to go through them quite quick and see what you guys get in the heated bed upgrade. I don't know how many people are going to be interested in upgrading the Ultimaker Originals. I don't know if there's still people around that are going to do that. But anyways, this is just going to be a video that you guys can see what's in the heated upgrade uh, kit. Uh, this is going to be a relatively new update. I don't think there's that many unboxings. But anyways, if somebody's interested, they perhaps have got an old Ultimaker and they want to upgrade to the heated bed, then this is going to be the video for you guys. So we're going to be jumping into the heated build plate upgrade kit. That you guys can see what's in it all right so when we open the box we are greeted by the slogan at the bottom we continuously deliver the most easy to use 3d product solutions and powerful tools that enable the creation of any product by anybody anywhere all right the first thing you see when you get into the box is the welcome or the getting started uh, card just says thank you for purchasing um, the unit and it's got a bit of information technical specs of the of the unit uh, at the back put that aside so they've got a couple of uh, sections that they've uh, split everything into so we'll go through each individual uh, packet that you guys can see what's inside um, I'll start on the left hand side here this is just uh, going to be a bag full of all the screws and the clips um, for all of the parts there's quite a couple there's a lot of different types of screws inside there there's the long uh, m3s there's the clips for the heated bed at the bottom and a whole bunch of other screws there's the springs for the heated bed as well so and the thumb screws at the bottom and the spaces for the board there's also even a couple of allen keys inside there as well so this bag contains everything got to do with all the the screws and the clips for the whole heated bed upgrade so that's in the one bag the small multiple little baggies inside there and that's what it looks like right we'll put that aside all right so the next thing that we have is the cable pack as you can see there's a couple of cables inside of it um, there's a stop switch for the um, heated bed or the bed from racing I think this is the new replacement switch as well as um, the power connection that bridges the, the the different power connections between the new heated bed as well as you'll see on the side the bottom and if you'll catch that um, is for the heated bed uh, section and that runs down to the bed itself so that's what the packet looks like over there So the next thing is the laser pack, which consists of the new backing for the Z motor and lead screws that covers the back of it. It'll uh, fit into the Ultimaker covering everything, uh, just making it look a little bit neater. And that's what the pack looks like. Alright, so the next thing that we have is the Z stage pack. It consists of two linear bearings that will have the rods go through. And it's got a couple of packets of different types of grease. This is quite a small pack, it's actually quite heavy. This is what the pack looks like. Right. the next thing that we have is the glass plate it's got the connections on either side to stop the sides from breaking um, it's just being covered with some plastic just to keep everything intact and this is what the glass plate looks like nicely packaged so it's not going to break or anything like that I'm just going to stick this aside Alright, the next pack that we have is the drill pack. 
It just comes with a glue stick and it comes with the two tools that you're going to need. It's the drill bit, um, the small drill bit uh, to mount the heated board and then the wooden um, drill bit just to make a hole for the new um, power connection. That's what it looks like. And that's what it comes look and that's what it looks like with the the glue and the drill bits everything's assembled or everything's in here that you need to do the job so there's nothing you need to go out and buy everything's there so the next thing in the box is the heated board pcb it's in an anti-static bag this is where everything's going to be plugging into and that's what the drill bit is for, is to get the screws that we can mount this board in. Alright, so the next thing, once we've finished with all of that, we can move that aside. The first thing that you'll see is the aluminium base plate or the aluminum if you come from the states you call them aluminum for some weird reason it's actually aluminium plate at the top there that's what it looks like already been drilled pre-drilled that's the plate there stick that aside then underneath that on the left hand side is the new power brick or power adapter See, this thing is massive and yeah as i say that is a massive power power brick or power adapter that's information on there output is 24 volts 9.2 ampere that is the connection type over there this thing's massive. You can kill somebody with this thing. Right, the next thing towards the back is the Z motor with the lead uh, screw on it. There it is at the bottom. Let's put it up like that, that you guys can see it. So that's what it looks like. It's actually got quite a short connection, but I suppose it doesn't need to have such a long. And then that's basically the thing over there. Right, it's not that. Okay, well, that's what's in there. Right, the next thing towards the bottom of the box is the heated bed itself. It's actually very well packed, so no, there's nothing gonna go wrong with it. Um, yeah, it's quite light, actually. Damn, that thing's light. Right, so this is what the bed looks like. It's quite a bit quite dusty but that's what the bed looks like can't believe how light this thing is it's insanely light and that's what the bed looks like nothing too crazy on the back it's just a complete it's just got the connection on the on the end and that's basically that Alright guys, so that is it for the unboxing of the heated bed upgrade kit for the Ultimate Original. You can see there's quite a couple of things that you get inside the box and I'm actually quite looking forward to doing the um, next video which would be the Ultimaker installation guide just to help anybody else that has purchased the Ultimaker Original upgrade kit that would like to follow along or maybe skip through and see what I do to get a better idea. I know there is a video online but I think it's just a one-parter but I'll go through each one and I will make sure to leave quick jump links in the bottom if you guys can just jump through to whatever part that you guys need. Uh, if you guys like this video, please remember to give it a thumbs up. Then at least I know you guys are watching and you enjoy it. Um, if you haven't subscribed, please subscribe. Um, and you guys will be notified as soon as I upload any new videos. 
and you guys can find them entertaining, watch them and enjoy them. That's what I'm doing this for. So I will speak to you guys or see you guys in the next Makerspace.